few weeks ago that they had a chance to play for the Wallabies here in the in home city, home state. How special was that? Yeah, pretty special. Um, it was it was awesome to pull the jumper on a few weeks ago against Wales and then against Georgia again and you know, what bigger challenge than facing the box at, at home. So yeah, really excited. What are you expecting physically uh, against this box team? Have you heard any war stories from any of your teammates about just how tough it is against the South Africans? Um, well, obviously aware they're, they're a big team, so we're going to have to front up physically and we've um, had a good week's prep um, to, prepare, to prepare for that, so yeah. A lot of the sort of rhetoric around Springboks is that bomb squad kind of changes sort of game coming on. As sort of someone in that sort of similar role, is that something that's spoken about a bit more this week? Like, how do you go about sort of approaching a challenge like that? Um, yeah, obviously, as I said, we're, we're aware that they're, they're a big side and they've got those big boys coming off the bench. So we're sort of internal focus this week, preparing the best we can to um, put ourselves in, in good stead. Josh, what's the psychology like when you, know, you go through their side? Yeah, I mean, obviously they command a lot of respect. They've, they've had a fair few good years, um, but yeah, we're, we're preparing as a Wallabies unit. We've, we've been together for a month or so now, so yeah, we're growing nicely and hopefully can um, put up a good fight against them. Is it about not putting them on a pedestal? Um, no, not so much. We're, as I said, we're, we're sort of internal focus. We're focusing on how, how we can prepare the best we can and um, yeah, so internal focus and yeah. So what's your, uh, your memories of, of Damien Dialendo? Sorry? What are your memories of Damien Dialendo? Um, yeah, he's obviously a world class player in that midfield. Um, he's physical and he's got a lot of skill set to his game, so yeah. Can you, you think about Adelaide a Um, yeah, it was just uh, physicality. Um, I think they had a mindset to come, come out in that second game and um, to play on top of us, which which they did, and um, they got the result. So for us, is to try and um, you know meet them at the line and um, go from there. Both being sort of Queensland Reds, well, like some people saying, it's become this sort of fortress of one class sport during the week um, for all these. Why do you think that's the case? That you know this has been the ground that's brought the best results out of the side. Um, yeah, I think it's a Suncorp to, to a really good spot um, for Australian rugby. Um, you know, we've lot, we haven't lost much games at Suncorp, but um, it's a dangerous spot and it's, it's home for us. So, yeah. Just gonna say, when you should come up for red season, where there's sort of a lot of positive momentum around, you know, Queensland rugby heading into this year, do you sort of sense that, that sort of feeling when you come back here and look to sort of continue that, having followed a similar path with all these wins, you know, three straight wins to start here? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean. The Queensland Queenslanders love the sport, and um, so we, I think we just sold out the sold out the stadium. So they'll come out in numbers and um, be right on our back as we take on the box. How do you feel, Josh? Like you've often and you and Hunter have played generally 10, 15 thousand in Super Rugby, and there's going to be packed house. Is it? How do you feel, kind of mentally preparing for kind of such a culture? So excited, mate! It's um, not often you get get to play in your home state and in front of a, a packed crowd, so yeah, bloody excited. Are you a fan of the, uh, the afternoon kickoff? Uh, fans obviously have responded by selling it out. Would you like to see more of all these tests sort of in the afternoon sort of family friendly spot? Yeah, I mean, let's hope for a nice blue afternoon. We can throw the ball around a bit and, um, and have some fun. But yeah, afternoon, afternoon footy, we obviously play that growing up. Um, so yeah, it's not nothing that we're not used to. Maybe we saw that some call before, like Origin or 2011 with the, with the Reds final? Yeah, I went to the Reds final in 2011 and then um, there was a NRL grand final a few years ago and then yeah, obviously a few origins. It's, it's unreal when it, when it gets packed out, so yeah, it'd be pumped. It'd be insane to run out in front of that, so we'll run on with that. Yeah, yeah, it'd be awesome. Hey Hunter, um, uh, everyone's probably writing all this off. Do you guys lead into that underdog kind of status? Is that something internally that's a, a big thing? Um, yeah, for us, we're just uh, worrying about ourselves. You know, we've we back our, um, our preparation through this week, and um, you know, we know we've got full confidence if we do our prep right. Um, we'll go out there and have fun and uh, do the job there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah, um, no, he's a, he's a tough bloke. Um, you know, he's a workhorse. Uh, you know, loves putting his head into the dark spots and the breakdowns and that. So um, yeah, it'll be similar to have Fraser out there. So he yeah, would be he'd be keen to rip in. You, you just laughed at that, Josh. You against him. And is, he, is he mad? Yeah, yeah, I played um, played with Carlo through the twenties, sort of set up, and then yeah, played against him a fair few times. He's yeah, a few screws loose there with, with old Carlo. He's, he's 100% at training and geez, he's 100% on the field. So yeah, he'll be a big asset for us. Was, was that the first match a uh, big reminder of how effective he can be as well? Yeah, definitely. It was a, it was a pest that day and we yeah, got the better of us. So yeah, it'd be good to have him on our side this time. Did he remind you of that or not? Um, he brought it up briefly, but fended it off. <laughs> Shut it down pretty quickly. Generally, generally debuts on too. Nah, Carlo backs himself to the hills. He'll um, he'll be confident and excited and yeah, ready to rip in. So, yeah, wouldn't wouldn't say he'd be too flustered with nerves. And can you tell us the battle between him and Lukey Rymer? I imagine they've been going out at, at training. Yeah, Lukey's another another boy pretty similar to Carlo. That's 100% all the time. Um, yeah, them going at training. It's been pretty good to watch this week, and yeah, can't wait to see them on the weekend.